Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Spellbinders report of the Unfiltered News from the Reality Zone, compiled by G. Edward Griffin and his News Scouts. This week, in the comic strip for this week, which is pretty cool, this is for May 26th through June 1st. Welcome to June 1st. The second day of the Bilderbergs, I believe. I think they started arriving Thursday and they're back here until Sunday. They'll be there at Chinterry, Chin Virginia to make their decisions on who's going to be president and who isn't as well as what they're going to do with the rest of us. And this is part of what they're doing with Obama's kill list from his high castle with the Wicked Witch of the West from the Wizard of Oz. Fly, my pretties, fly! With all his drones. Yep, that's what he is. He's sending out his flying monkey drones. There they are. Anyways, to the headlines for this week. Officials from the U.S. and Israel confirmed that the Stuxnet's computer virus used in cyber attacks against Iran's nuclear program was created by the U.S. and Israel. Actually, they actually found, when they took it apart, they actually found an Israeli signature in it, in the program. And I knew this a while back. It's just now becoming well known with the New York Times now reporting it. Uh, the U.S. also has ambushed computers in other countries, but denies involvement in the latest virus called Flame. Yes, it may be in your computer. If you have Norton 360, they say that they guarantee my computer is free of Flame. Well, all these computer companies like that, or the uh, viruses, virus fighters, antivirus, programs may not do that. They may just put it in there. I don't trust the antiviruses programs as much because I look at them just like I look at uh, the people who make radar guns for the police also make the radar detectors. So there you go. Virus attacks by one government against the infrastructure of another government are acts of war. And it is. That's, that's a form of act of war. And can be expected to be to trigger counterattacks. The U.S. probably is the most vulnerable of any nation to cyber warfare because of its almost total dependence on computer technology. And remember the uh, backdoor of chips being sent in by the Chinese into our military equipment. Uh, this is not good. New York Times, June 1st. Right now, the UN, with support from the US, wants to put Syrian President Assad on trial for crimes against humanity for their recent massacre of 108 people. Assad, Assad's regime says that rebel terrorists using Israeli weapons committed the murders to destabilize the country and create public opinion against Assad. Holding a trial in the UN court is a strategy to neutralize Russia and China's opposition to a military invasion by the West. Jerusalem Post, June 1st. And this is kind of true. Why would he kill 108 of his own people, which would bring the wrath of other countries down on him from the UN? He wouldn't. Not if he's he's sane. And I'm I'm thinking he's pretty sane, not to not to be that crazy. I think it's just because they want to get to Iran through Syria, and they have to take Syria out as the doorway there. And if they can make demonize him and make him look like he's the bad guy. Instead of Israel being the bad guy with the U.S. as our as the grim, we are nothing but the cattle being used in these wars by Israel Zionist. I'm not saying the people of Israel they don't like their government either, just like we don't like ours. Just look it up. They they don't like their government. They think they're they're Zionist, just what they are. They're 
they're self and self glorified invaders of other countries in that West. Almost like the uh, manifest destiny that the U.S. had way back when we first moved from the colonies from the East Coast all the way to the West Coast. Well, this is the way the Israelis are thinking about, the, the Zionists are thinking about this. Gotta keep that stuff in mind. I mean, if you look at Mike Rivero, he knows about what's going on with this, and he, he brought this up too. He, he actually said, now why would he attack his own people to, to entice the wrath of the UN and all the countries involved in that and NATO onto him? He wouldn't. So it has to be a false flag. And that's what you're looking at. U.S. Department of Justice, DOJ, is disputing Florida's move to block non-U.S. citizens from voting. The DOJ contends this would discriminate against minorities and violate the 90-day rule ahead of the August 4th elections. The Department of Homeland Security has been dragging its feet for nine months in identifying non-U.S. citizen voters. So it's not really their fault that they're jumping and saying we're not going to let these minorities vote that we believe are, are non because the government itself is wanting it so they can vote for Obama. The illegals, that is. Congress remains silent because they're being blackmailed and they're under the control now of the Zionist lobbyist and this is all coming down that we have we've been conquered by foreigners in actuality we have been conquered by the foreign agents face reality America both major parties are working to dismantle your country don't listen to what they say watch what they do exactly watch what they're doing watch this this is this is what they're doing like up here this is what they're doing you got to watch what's going on here the, the, and understand they're not the good people you think they are. They're all been bought and paid for by the, by the money junkies of the world. The 1% that's right now at Bilderberg discussing how they're going to take care of everyone. It don't want them to be the world rulers. CNN, June 1st. And that's what's happening at Bilderberg. They're discussing how they're going to get rid of the people that don't want to go wrong with their one world order with the 1% running everything. And you can see how wonderful that is with these money junkies. Look at the uh, Fukushima. Uh, what they did, they cut corners on everything. They said, oh, we don't need to put those generators up on the hill. It's cheaper to put them down here. And we got to cut that, that the, the anti-tsunami bridge down about 20 feet. Yeah, they did all that. That was money junkie work. I mean, it's just not right. British study shows a 50% increase of brain tumors in children and suggests that this is linked to cell phone use. Natural news, May 31st. It could be all types of things. It could be GMO. It could be a lot of things causing the brain tumors. They're, they were blaming the bee depopulation on cell phone towers and stuff. And they've been around many years before the bee population went down. And then and now it just finally came out that Monsanto's uh, GMO food with their Roundup poison that absorbs into the, the corn and everything was killing the bees. And that was what was killing the bees. It wasn't the radio towers at all. It may have had an effect on us. I mean, I, I'm true. The radiation from these towers do have an effect on us. But, you know, I, I think the effect from these radio towers cannot be that bad anymore after Fukushima's radiation is constantly raining down on the entire, entire northern hemisphere right now. Ugh, this stuff you should think about. The U.S. and E.U governments are allowing banks to ignore reserve requirements for loans to those same governments. The purpose is to encourage banks to create limitless amounts of money out of nothing to buy government debt that traditional investors now are reluctant to do. The result will be that these loans will be repaid by larger new loans of money created out of nothing to cover the old loans plus new spending projects plus interest. This process will repeat until the flood of new money completely destroys the purchasing power of the currency, at which this po at this point the economy will be paralyzed and the streets will be subjected to martial law. CNBC, 
May 31st. They just make this money. You know, and they lend money out to people. They don't lend their own money at the bank out. No, they had the money printed up, and then that's lended or replaced of whatever money they gave out. They just replace it, and they never lose anything of what they got. Just, just do your research on that. It's madness that the banksters got away with this this madness of, of money junkies. That's what they are. U.S. 25% of children and teens now are taking prescription drugs. Multiple choice quiz. A. All of these kids really are sick and we should be grateful there are drugs to help them. Or B. Which is most likely. Most of these kids and their parents are victims of marketing campaigns by the pharmaceutical industry. Money junkies of another industry. I mean, there's all different industries of money junkies. This is another one of them. Natural News, May 30th reports. Wisconsin. This is nuts. This is politically correct, gone insane. Pastor is sentenced to two years in jail for advising his congregation that they should spank their undisciplined children. It's an article by End of the American Dream, May 30th. And I read through it. And he scrubs in two years for disadvising them that they should not spare the rod or it will spoil the child. And I, I know a teacher. He's doing second grade. And he is mad because these kids are just unrespectful. They just do not respect anyone. They don't respect the teacher. They don't respect their, their peers. They're just monsters. Because they've never been spanked or anything. They've been allowed to become like little little rich kids that never been punished. That grow up to be mean little people. They become mean and everything. You've probably seen the movies and stuff and read the stories that were based on these type of people. It's all out there. It's nuts. Here we go again. Former libertarian. Oh, li liber... liber Liberian president, or Liberian, that's from Libya, it just that threw me off, uh, the Libyan president, Charles Taylor, is sentenced to 50 years in prison by a UN court for aiding and abetting war crimes in Sierra Leone. While Taylor appears to be guilty as charged, this is a dangerous precedent because the UN, including this court, is moving to gain authority over all world leaders. If they can imprison Taylor, they can do the same to anyone in any country, even you. India Times, May 30th. Maybe this is what they're holding over our congressmen and senators. If they don't play along, they'll just pump up charges of guilty on them for something and off they go. They're blackmailed. It's called world blackmail. I'm telling you, this is James Bond Spectre coming through on this planet. Spectre runs the world. The one percent of these evil monsters. Here is the official list of this year's Bilderberg attendees. And you should look at this. This is only a partial list, and it's just beginning. But you'll find out all these people got together, and they're the 1% who are going to t make sure that they get rid of 80% of us, so the rest of you who survive it will be their slaves. And they will be able to prance around in crowns and robes, and you'll grovel at their feet. This is what's coming down the pike at you. If you want to know who is really running the world, here is a short list. Remember, however, that some of these people may be proxies or you know, representatives for others who are not at the meeting. Nevertheless, this is a pretty good starting list. Bilderberg meetings, May 30th. Chantelle, Virginia. There it is, Chantelle. Hosts the 2012 secretive Bilderberg meeting of world leaders. It has its highest ever level of security forces in anticipation of record numbers of protesters. Washington Times, May 30th. So right. They, they, they're upset. There's been rumors from Tucker. And Tucker's a guy that covers these 
Bilderberg meetings every time they happen. And his inside sources are saying that these guys are mad as a hornet's nest because they think everyone that's out there protesting are Ron Paul fans. Vote for Ron Paul or whatnot. And they're saying, we wish we could get them all up on an airplane and have a, a Muslim with a bomb vest blow them all up. I mean, this is stuff, I mean, that's a direct threat. That's almost like, you know, a, if that, something like that happens, <laughs> we'll know what is going on. That should keep them from happening is just reporting on it. Because if it happens, they won't realize the drag, the sleeping dragon, the sleeping lion of America will wake up. And when that happens, they're not going to have a chance. Because once we wake up, the world wakes up. And everybody wins. The European Commission... Now all the free people, free people will be free again, and all these one percents will be taken and and dealt with, with laws. The European Commission is calling for a centralized banking union that can override national governments for bank bailouts. This always has been the goal, because it is necessary for the establishment of the new world order, the one percent. But now it is repackaged as a solution to the current monetary crisis. RD Magazine, May 30th. That's right. They're, they're going to keep bailing themselves out. They're going to keep gambling with everyone's money. And when they lose, they're going to expect you to bail them out. This is how it's happening. Ooh, this should make you mad. should make you mad as a hornet. You should be down there. If I could make it, I don't have any money. Shoot, I'm still trying to get a job. Uh, I can't make it down there. But I'd be down in Chantilly, Virginia, out there yelling at them, telling them that they're not going to get away with it. Obama's drone policy uses guilty by proximity, that's right, to determine whether or not a person is a combatant. Any male who is physically near someone who is believed to be a terrorist is or also is a terrorist. You know, a uh, guilty by association type thing. If they are killed by a drone strike, they automatically are counted as combatants, not casualties. Putting it another way, we can be sure that the number of innocent civilians killed is much greater than reported. HuffPost, May 29th. Poland bans Monsanto GMO corn because it kills bees. There you go. I was telling you that Monsanto is killing the bees with their Roundup. There is the proof. They banned it because they're saying without bees, the food supply would fall to nearly zero. The Poles got it. What's wrong with the rest of the world? Answer, their leaders are too busy spending the money they receive from Monsanto's lobbyists. Yeah, the lobbyists are doing this. We need to get rid of lobbyists out of Washington District of Criminal, or we need to change the policy here in the states where all our congressmen and senators only go to Washington once or twice a year to vote on bills, and the rest of the time they get letters or whatnot, uh, emails to them in their own states. This way, it would just about bankrupt the lobbies to have to go to all 50 states to try to get their lobbying done. That's, that's the, the answer to this problem. Natural News, May 29th. A video. Mainstream media is reporting that Mitt Romney has won the Republican nomination because he reportedly won the Texas primary. Well, what is not being disclosed in the news is that the delegates have not yet been committed, and there is heavy infighting going on behind the scenes. Ron Paul is still in the race, people. He's not out of it yet. These people have not have not committed themselves to to either Romney or Paul. Paul's already got some it, it's committed to him. And Romney thinks he does, but it all won't come out until after the Florida primary. So we gotta wait until after Florida to see where who jumps on whose side of the fence. Fox 19, May 29th. So don't don't count Ron Paul out. He still he still could win it, and he still could be in there. Western governments is expelling Syrian diplomats from their countries because they blame the Assad regime for a massacre that resulted in the murder of 108 people. Pressure from the West is mounting to oust Assad, but it has yet to be proven that he is responsible for the killings. 
Many believe that the massacre was carried out by rebel forces pretending to be government supporters to divide public opinion against Assad. If so, their strategy is working. AP, May 29th. The President of the United States now has the power to judge, jury, and executioner in deciding who to assassinate without a trial. Several Americans and a 17-year-old Yemen's girl have been considered for the, his hit list. Prison Planet, May 29th. We gotta watch him. He's got a hit list out. He's out to do it. And he's got for people here in the States. Supposedly. It's a good, good chance. A new supercomputer virus has attacked Iranian computers, and Israel is the apparent source of the attack. The flame. The bug worms its way into any computer and turns them into listening devices. It can activate a computer's audio system to eavesdrop on Skype, cause our office chatter, take screenshots, log keystrokes, and even pull information from Bluetooth-enabled phones left nearby. Daily Mail, May 29th, and uh, IBM made an announcement that they're not letting anyone take their iPhones and iPods into their company because they're afraid that the things will turn themselves on and start eavesdropping. They're saying it has something to do with the cloud, which they all tap into. And the cloud is an open microphone, basically. It takes up information, especially ones that talk, you talk to and it talks back. It takes the information up into the cloud, and then it gets stored momentarily, supposedly, but it can be permanently stored just by proximity of how this thing's set up. And you can actually have your stuff being recorded and stored on somewhere on the cloud and somebody can access that in the government or whatever, NSA maybe, and listen in. Or China. Backdoor chips. Remember that. So their their IBM's not allowing those phones on in the property they have to be turned in at the door. They have to rely on other means of communication there. Okay. Uh, Christine Lagarde, head of the UN, and this is pretty good, International Monetary Fund, says that Greeks must pay, pay their taxes and adhere to the strict austerity to pay off their government's debt. How much tax does she pay on her annual salary of salary of four hundred and sixty seven thousand nine hundred and forty you guessed it zero it's all tax-free but she wants them to pay their share and do that it's see it's that money one percent that don't pay and everyone else does everyone else is a slave to them guardian may 29th <clears throat> you gotta start realizing if you don't want to be a slave you gotta stand up and say I'm not a slave to them because they're going to just automatically assess that if you're not fighting against them, then you must be a slave. Video. Syria. Rebel forces have blamed the Assad regime for the massacre of 108. Again, this is constant stories coming up all week long. But questions remain about the possibility that rebel forces themselves may have done the killing to throw public opinion against the regime they hope to topple. A former Pentagon official supports this view. Russian television, May 28th. If you want to find out who's this Pentagon official that supports the view, see the video. Come to this site for the link. It's all linked here. I'll have the link to this newsletter so you can go through all these yourself. Syria. The BBC is caught using a 2003 photo of dead children in Iraq, claiming it was from a recent massacre in Syria. That's right. The intent was to create public support for the UN or NATO war against Syria. Because these people, these money junkies, can't get in there and steal everything they got and then take Iran down. Unless they can get through Syria. Syria is the doorway. But right now, that doorway is protected by China and Russia. And I don't think either of them are buying any of this. They're not buying this false flag. Infowars, May 28th. California. And this is bad, people. I'm going to tell you. California tuna that have migrated from Japan are found to have higher radioactive levels than predicted. Don't worry. The U.S. and Japanese governments have assured the public that the radiation levels pose no health threat or health risk. Daily Mail, May 28th. Yeah, when you raise the level up and then and then say, huh, it's not bad. See, the level's been raised. It's like saying, yeah, if I raise the level of how toxic... 
uh, say cyanide is, then you can drink more pure cyanide and not feel any effects just because I say so. No, that isn't how it works. The levels that, that were original are the original levels that were dangerous. And they raised it ten times the normal level that it was. So, how many cans of tuna do you think it would take before you develop cancer? Say, 200 cans. And, uh, maybe 200, maybe 400 cans. No, let's just make it 500 cans. Okay, uh, you'll probably eat that many in less than 30 years. So, you're just saying anything below 30 years, because that's the high half-life of cesium-137, is 30 years. So, and it's a cancer-causing radiation. It has, there's even uh, plutonium supposedly in it, and it's the alpha particles that will kill you. These particles, heavy particles, get lodged in you. They're smaller than a, than a, than a cell or anything tiny that you can imagine but they affect the cell just around it so when you develop a tumor when they remove the tumor that's when they would get that particle it got lodged in your digestive system or somewhere along the way they'll have to remove the uh, the tumor to get rid of it because it would be the thing that caused the tumor and it would be in the very center of that tumor. If they take that tumor and cut it up and do what they do when they test the fish, they have to actually grind these fish up into a liquid before they can do a detection of radiation on them. Because it's this, the alpha's radiation only goes, you know, it doesn't even penetrate the skin if it's outside. But get it inside, oh boy, you're in trouble. Uh, so just think about that. How many cans of tuna do you think it would take before you get cancer eating blue tip tuna or yellow t yellow tip? I mean, just it's not good, people. This is dangerous. This is a dangerous precedent that they're not telling us how much danger the radiation has caused so far. I mean, with the milk in California, with the vegetables we get from California, the leafy uh, lettuces and uh, fruits and everything and vegetables that come from California. I'm, I'm looking at packages before I buy things and make sure it's not coming from California. I'll buy stuff from Florida because that's a lot further away and probably is almost 0 0.000000 point something free of radiation. But go to California, it's going to be 24 point something. I mean, this is you know, how many rads you're getting. It's just amazing. Uh, it just keeps going. Institutional holders of Chevron stock are pressuring the company's CEO to pay an $18 billion court reward for spilling toxic waste into the Amazon River in Ecuador nearly 20 years ago. The reason is not that it is the right thing to do, but because it's not doing so is harmful to the company's reputation. So they're trying to get him to pay that up. To, to cover up for it basically saying okay we'll, we'll pay it up everything's cool cool and then they can go do it somewhere else again so punishing the entire company they're trying to punish the CEO money junkies at work again market watch March 28th I mean these guys are like heroin addicts they don't get their heroin they they go crazies and stuff I think that's what Bilderberg is starting to do is go crazy because we're trying to take away their their drug money you know and they don't like that U.S. Department of Homeland Security is forced to release a list of several hundred words they track on social networks on and online media. About one-third of them are words that any informed person is likely to use in everyday conversation. Here we go. I'm going to be on a list. Such as law enforcement, <gasps> authorities, organized crime, chemical spill, infection, Flu symptoms, World Health Organization, E. coli, infrastructure, telecommunications, drug cartel, and violence. To just mention a few. But don't worry, the government says it is only looking for terrorists. Yeah, the American people. Daily Mail, May 26. Video, California. Air Resources Board, CARB, shuts down public meeting on the impending carbon tax because too many people oppose it. I wonder why, when they're broke. 
you know, the people there can hardly pay anything. Watch this short video and see the raw power of bureaucracy make a sham of the representative government. PP Gazette, May 26. I mean, it's just, they're just going out and saying, we have the right, we have the power, we have power, we have power. Sounds like the TSA girl went nuts saying that she has power. Yeah, that's what they're thinking. I mean, they're all nuts. They all went nuts. They've lost their lost their sense of morals, scruples even. U.S. Syngenta has settled a lawsuit for 105 million because its herbicide atrazin, a polluted polluted water supplies, the company produced GMO crops that are designed to tolerate this herbicide. Atrazin is banned in Europe, but is still allowed in the U.S. Of course, the, the slaves here need their nutritious pesticide. Just like they need their roundup. Mm -mm. Market Watch, May 26. Australia businesses are told that if they claim their price increases are caused by the new carbon tax, they must be able to prove it or face over a million dollar fine. That's right. They're charging people a million dollar fine. See, that's what's going to happen here if they get that carbon tax passed. And it's the carbon tax paying off the money junkies 1%. That's all it's for has nothing to do with carbon at all has everything for them to make a profit take more money from the slaves so the slaves can't fight anymore that's what they're trying to do they're trying to make you so poor and everything you don't have time to do anything but to try to survive and that's what they're bringing us down to they are not told what is acceptable or proof see they never told them what is acceptable or proof to try to disprove that the carbon tax is wrong but we can be sure that simple math and common sense will not be a good enough. In other words, if you have common sense and, and math and you try to prove it that way, huh, they're just going to call you a denier and go on with it. This is, and then charge you a million dollars. This is an attempt to discourage public comment against the tax. See, they don't want you to not have that tax because they're making too much money for their pocket from yours. Telegraph, May 26. Here we go. Ron Paul. Restore America plan poses getting rid of the Department of Interior. This analysis shows why it is a great idea and how it would help the American economy. Morph City, May 30th. Another video by G. Edward Griffin explains how Ron Paul's Restore America plan brilliantly combines popular political slogans with sound ideological principles. And it's true. His, what he's talking about will work and it will save us. We got to stop spending what we don't have. They're trying to hold Greece right now responsible for their debt. And it's really those people don't owe it. Their government is the one that went and spent the money without saying, here, vote on this. Give us the permission to spend this. No, they just said, ah, you put me in here. Apparently, that means I can do whatever I want. No, it doesn't. It means that you're under our power. You are a servant government, not the other way around. When are you going to get that through your beady little brains? They only understand money junkying. Ooh, and... And, and this just all out sociopathic behavior is what it comes down to. Greece will hold elections on June seventeenth, which which seventeenth, which will determine whether it will leave the Eurozone or accept harsh austerity measures in return for another bear out from the EU. This analysis predicts that leaving the EU would not be as traumatic as most think and that there could be many benefits. Yeah, right. CNBC, May 8. They're just trying to convince their people to be slaves. Last but not least, video, Back to Eden. Excellent video. I would suggest anyone to watch it. If you want to learn how to grow your own victory garden and grow a lot of food and not have to use toxic fertilizers or anything on it, this is the way to go. Back to Eden, a video that explains how to create a garden that utilizes wood chips to eliminate the need for watering, tilling, and fertilizing with truly amazing results. I mean, big, uh, you know, big bushels of everything. This is presented from a biblical perspective, though, but it is loaded with sound science as well. It may change your view of nature. Back 
the Eden posted May 27th. And actually, you can go and download it or watch it there. The whole, the whole thing. It's an hour and I think it was an hour and 28 minutes, maybe an hour and 48. But it tells you how to do this, how to set up this garden, how they've done it. it shows you what the yield is on it. You don't need fertilizers. You don't need the water except the first time you put it out. Then you water it when you plant everything. And after that, nature takes care of it. It's awesome. I suggest it to anyone and anywhere. Well, that's the news for this week. The headlines that you may have missed for this this week of May 26th through the June 1st and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a beautiful day and I'll talk to you next week so until then this is Spellbinder saying be good or be good at it good day